it's me. Look what the cat dragged in. The video. Um, yeah, uh, Super Bowl Sunday into Monday and the outfit. A uh, leotard of sorts. Uh, kind of warm and a nice belt to rock it. And a crop top. I had a zip up blouse kind of thing and it looked cute with it being just kind of unzipped from down to here so you never knew it was a crop top but i got this because it was long sleeve i mean i wore this because it was long sleeves and i figured well at least it'll be a little bit warm it's like i think it was like 40 degrees and uh yeah i mean that in the coat the, the over what do you call it the blouse that was over this so it was good um and the place had a spread of some like good Finger foods, I always say good, just finger foods and like chips and cheeses and stuff like that. Um, but they also had like, I, th I think they had like chicken nuggets that were like fried chicken nuggets. They look good, but I, I don't eat those anymore. So, and that's where I'm going to go into the topic of uh, vegetarianism. And that's tonight's topic. Um, this morning's topic. So six months ago, seven months ago, I decided to go vegetarian. Um... Uh, and I don't know if I'm doing it right, per se. Like, I don't know what the rules are. So I made my own rules. Fish, and fish is still um, in, and so is eggs. I was going to say game, and that's probably not the best word to use. Like, well, what pun intended, right? Eggs and fish are still good, but chicken, pork, and red meat's gone. So I don't eat those anymore. And it took a little while to finish what I had in the cabinet because when the apocalypse began a year ago, Almost like a year ago today, right? And uh, it was right around the Super Bowl. And um, I had bought a bunch of, I started stocking up on canned goods and um, non-perishables that if things went real bad because they were scaring the crap out of everybody, right? People were going out and buying toilet paper. I knew, it's like, look, buy water, buy cans, and, you know, buy stuff that you could put in a cabinet if you have to eat it out of the can you could just open it up and eat it without even cooking it if, if for some reason you know if, if things get that bad you never knew how bad things were going to go because the way they were talking and the way people were going out and just like hoarding paper that just didn't make any sense so i was like you know what just stock up on food food that you can you know if you can't get to the store because you know they close the stores because of a pandemic at least you have these cans in the in a cupboard so, so I started doing that. So it took me until August to finish all these, uh, anything that had meat in it. And um, um, so what I started doing um, as a substitute to the, um, to the burgers and stuff like that, I started getting Beyond Burger. And that's just a box. There was like, there's like eight of them in there and it's not bad for like 15 bucks. And the other thing is the fake bacon. So fake, bur fake burgers and fake bacon. And this is really good if you cook it in the microwave. I think it's like three slices, two minutes or something like that. And it comes out crispy. It tastes like bacon. It smells like bacon and maybe not a hundred percent, but it, it, it works for me. It's like, I'm satisfied with it. So that with eggs and I'm, I'm good. And then I started eating, why did I buy all those bananas? It's a dessert, it's not a health food, but it's still got sugar. And I think that's all I got. So I uh, hope everyone is well, having a um, good and safe uh, weekend and bye.